Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Design News. In today's Design News, we are checking out a font that revolutionized an entire generation and is now available for everyone to try. Dark mode is now here for Figma, well, kind of. A new UI kit and tool which makes the UI design process much easier and a completely new 3D UI illustration library. All that and more in today's design news, so stay tuned. And before we start this video, I want you guys to go down in the comments and type in your best or favorite tools or resources which changed the way you design in 2020. I want to show these tools and resources support, so share your favorite design tools and resources in the comments today. One of the most simplest apps that we saw coming out for Mac this year was Roy. Roy allows you to pick up colors. That's it. It doesn't do a lot more, but it's super lightweight and easy to use for designers to just pick colors of any website or resources. And I thought it deserves a shout out for being so simple and minimalistic. Nicely Done is a new resource which allows you to gather information, inspiration, as well as designs from various websites and apps across the world. It shows you which products and UI design patterns work the most with users. Now, this allows you to use the best resources as well as the best UI patterns in your designs as well. And all this is based on actual working example, actual real life products that are out there in the world. At the end of the day, as designers, we must think from the perspective of the users and this website helps us to do exactly that. There is a new article on Dribble which shows the most impactful design on Dribble for 2020. Things that depict everything that happened in 2020, the bad and the good. Yes, Figma now has dark mode. Well, in a way. So a developer recently took out a plugin which allows you to convert the Figma app into a complete dark mode with all the components and everything converted into dark mode. Colors, icons, everything are now changed. For those who use Figma on a daily basis and, I, and love the application, this plugin is available only for $2. I love that it's so inexpensive for the kind of work that has gone into it. Also, the developer is promising that he will release a Windows version soon. Discord has made all the resources and tools it used to make its UI designs for both PC as well as web available through this really cool medium article. It also shows you an inside look of how these companies, these large companies use these tools to maximize productivity and also to improve their designs. Got Milk is a font which was invented back in 1993. This was mainly done for a milk campaign where in America they wanted to promote drinking of cow milk and they invented this cool looking font. This font has been created by Morris Fuller or Morris Fuller, who is a type designer by profession, but he also, and he headed the American Type Foundry. I got this information from a website called Fonts Panda. I think you should go check it out. There was an article and I read it and this was very, very interesting. Now, Craftwork is a very known platform for illustrations and 3D assets. They've taken out a completely free 3D library of these fantastic looking 3D resources for both websites as well as apps available in two very important formats, PNG, which you can always use in tools like Figma or Adobe XD, as well as Cinema 4D. So if you're someone who's looking to pick up these 3D assets, edit them, and then use them, then I think this is a great resource for you. I love how clean they are and they match a lot of the design trends that we're seeing. Now imagine as a designer, you could travel back in time and see designs all the way from 2016 to 2020. Time Travel is a new website, which allows you to see website designs all the way from 2016 to 2020. When I opened 2016, I kind of remembered all the websites. I was getting inspired when I was making websites back in the day, back in 2015, back in 2014. And now in 2020, when I'm a UX UI designer, I look at 2020 websites on this website itself. I, I feel there's a vast difference in the way designers kind of looked at websites. Back in 2016, it was more about functionality. It was more about just displaying the features of the product and that's it. In 2020, now it's much about telling a story through illustrations, 3D assets, through animations and much more and you can see the journey and to me it was very emotional 
because that is how I'm attached to my designs as well. So that was it for today's design news. And this is the last design news of 2020. The last few days that are left for this year, I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel so much. I appreciate everyone who hit that subscribe button and even hit that bell notification. I want everyone to go down in the comments and, and tell me which was your favorite tool, which was your favorite design resources of 2020, and which was your favorite video of mine as well, if you have one. And I'll see you every Monday and Thursday. We're not stopping anywhere. We're so close to 50K, but we're never going to stop, even if we're at 1 million. Have a great holiday and a very happy new year to everyone. God bless.